Welcome back to another video. Now in this one, let's talk about some hand stretches that I like to do before I practice to get all the muscles in my hands nice and warmed up and get all the blood flowing into my hands and fingertips. So nothing is tense and my hands are ready to go for a, I guess, I guess a brutal practice session because those seem to be happening lately. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're notified when I post anything and everything classical guitar. All right, hand stretches. I feel like it's just one of those things that you have to do. You don't want to, you just want to pick up the guitar and just start playing, start jamming. But it's really important to stretch out your hands and fingers before you play and you make sure your muscles are relaxed and ready to perform. Anytime you see an athlete on, on a field getting ready to play, they're always going to be warming up or stretching. So they're ready to go whenever the game starts. And that's a good way to look at it whenever we have to stretch out our hands because we're using these muscles a lot. Before stretching your fingers, it's a good idea to massage your hands just a little bit to get the blood flowing into your hands and fingertips. Now I like to start with the forearms and just kind of rub them a little bit. Just, just kind of press my thumb into them just to wake up all the muscles and everything to get everything started. Now I'm going to start massaging my right hand and just kind of put my, my left hand thumb just deep into my palm, just kind of massage a little bit. And they just kind of massage the fingers, the fingertips, the knuckles, just to really get the blood flowing into your fingers. And don't forget your thumb. That's also a really important one, just because uh, our thumbs just get really stressed, especially when playing, you know, bar chords and stuff like that. This doesn't have to be a very long process, just something really quick, just to kind of get your hand muscles all nice and warmed up. All right, so now that we have blood flow going into our fingers, let's talk about some stretches. So I like to start with my right hand and I take my index finger and I stretch it back as far as it can go with my with my left hand. I'm not going further than, than I can, but I'm taking that finger and I'm stretching out and I am putting some pressure on it. But go as far back as you can without causing yourself any pain because you don't want to hurt yourself. But just do that for every finger. Now the M finger, the A finger, and the pinky. The thumb kind of goes back as well, both ways, and just with your wrist down and, and out. And then, of course, do that same thing for the other hand, moving all the fingers back as far as they can. Once you get comfortable with stretching your fingers out, you can actually move your fingers as well while your fingers back. So if we're going to take our in index finger and stretch it out, you can actually move your other three fingers up and down to stretch them out also even more. Now, this, this is going to hurt a little bit, so if you haven't done this before, so be careful and try not to hurt yourself. And now that you pulled your fingers back, let's kind of do the opposite. Start with the first finger again, take that index finger and move it inwards this time and stretch it out. And of course, if you want to, you can also move your fingers up and down and stretch it out even more. Some people aren't just naturally going to be able to stretch their fingers out further than others, So, but don't worry, just, just let the process happen and it'll all be okay. Some people, when they do this exercise, they do lock in their elbow so your arm is straight and kind of do this exercise. You do feel a, a bigger tension whenever you're pulling your finger back. All right, so the next thing that I like to do is I like to stretch my fingers the other way. Now, if I'm gonna start with my right hand again, I'm gonna put my left hand fingers in between the index finger and the middle finger, and I'm just gonna stretch them out. Try to go as far as you can. Don't go too far, don't hurt yourself. Don't jerk your fingers outwards and just, just stretch them out nice and even and go as far as you can without causing yourself pain. And now go to the middle finger and the ring finger and just stretch those out as far as you can. After a while, you are going to be able to stretch these out more and more as time goes on. And then the left hand as well, do the exact same thing. Stretch those fingers out. Ah, oh, it hurts. Now you're not going to be stretching out your right hand fingers whenever you're going to be plucking, but it's good. It's a good idea to stretch those fingers out anyway, because it does make it easier whenever you have to make like uh, some weird shape on the right hand too. Like, I don't know, your thumb and index go on the bass strings and then your, your middle and ring go on the first two strings, something like that. It's been working out for me quite a bit. So I can, I feel like I've got a pretty nice stretch going on. Yeah. Now, a great test to see if your hands are flexible is to do the Spock reverse Spock. So Spock reverse Spock really quickly. Ooh, can I do both hands? 
Oh yeah. <laughs> now these are the two that I primarily use whenever I'm stretching out my fingers, but I guarantee you there's so many more out there. Now I'm curious, are you stretching out your fingers differently than I am or you're adding on to, to what I do? I'm curious, leave a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about it. Well, that's it for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll leave all my links down in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.